About 20% of best seller products on Amazon and thousands of top ranking Shopify stores and WordPress website on Google are promoted by Smart Seller Lab. No matter you are an online seller, an established company, a brick and mortar retailer, a local business, or an Airbnb host, we can help your business grow fast online at least cost. If you like our channel, do remember to click subscribe and give us a thumb up to this video. If you have any question, it might be because English is not my native language. Or if you want to know more about online marketing techniques, please chat with us on our website at smartsellerlab.com. If you want us to make more videos like this, please leave us a comment on this video and let us know what you want to learn. We hope you find Smart Seller Lab useful and happy selling. Now we're going to talk about your seller account health. So this is very important because uh, if you are not careful, you will receive a um, uh, Amazon notification like this and telling you your seller account rather than listing has been suspended. So if your account gets suspended, all your listing becomes suspended too. So you don't want that. And um, what you need to do is um, you need to look at this um, three um, key um, um, uh, percentages or performances. Uh, the first one is customer service performance. The second one is policy compliance. The third one is shipping performance. So uh, out of these three, two of them are actually relevant to um, FBA delivery, uh, which means that your products should be fulfilled or your, your order should be fulfilled by Amazon FBA warehouse or Amazon FBA services, delivery services. So um, um, so let me explain this to you one by one. So if you look at customer service performance, your target is under one. Uh, all the defective rate contains three um, 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 standards or um, uh, three things or three metrics that Amazon will take into account. The first metric is negative feedback. This is actually not to your listing, not to your products, but to your store. And agency um, guarantee claims. That means um, if you ship the products by um, by yourself and Amazon is not happy with the order, ask you to refund, but you refused. And from that point, customer can raise A to Z guarantee claims. So this is something you don't want a customer to do. The chargeback claims means um, uh, if the Amazon, if customer sees your order is suspicious or your product is not very good and then um, when they contact with you you didn't actually send them refunds so they contact their bank and ask bank to hold the money um, sent to Amazon and not actually to pay you so this is a chargeback claims and you don't want all the three metrics you don't want them uh, to be over one percent they gotta be less than one uh, percent and um, uh, shipping performance again this is uh, something to do with your uh, delivery if you send a delivery by yourself and you will very quickly see this matrix will fall um, will fail to meet Amazon um, requirements um, but if you send all the orders by uh, Amazon FBA warehouse uh, you can totally ignore them um, so late shipment rates um, means that if, uh, say, in your listing, you set up, say, the handling time of three days or two days, but you didn't send it uh, until five days or, or the fourth day, and customer uh, Amazon will see that and they will mark it as that you are not meeting this um, benchmark. And uh, pre-fulfillment cancel rate means Amazon will place an order, but you cancel it. So this should be under 2.5%. Valid tracking rate is something um, um, relevant to your um, Kuro tracking number. Say, um, if you send the products by DHL, 
or FedEx or USPS and then they normally they will provide you with a valid tracking number when you update those tracking number onto your order uh, Amazon will um, see will see them and um, they will see that you meet um, these standards but if you use uh, if you didn't update uh, upload the tracking number onto your order or if you uh, provide some tracking number that's not trackable and then Amazon will um, see them as invalid tracking um, number and your value tracking rate will fall so the uh, value tracking rate should be over 95 percent so just remember um, if you use uh, Amazon FBA uh, warehouse or use Amazon FBA to fulfill your order and then um, most likely you don't have to worry about customer service performance and you don't have to worry about shipping performance um, that's something you need to remember and you need to send products to Amazon FBA warehouse